In this video, I'm just going to be going over the control rig I set up for my short film. It's not going to be a tutorial or anything, I'm just going to be highlighting some of the features and how I kind of approached creating it. One of the first things you'll notice about this rig is how simple it is compared to what you usually expect from a quadruped character. Everything is driven in as few controls as possible to try and minimize the amount of time I have to spend animating. We've used a lot of IK and let the rig do most of the heavy lifting. Okay, I'm just going to really quickly go over each section of this rig so we can get a good overview of how it's set up. If we look at it as a whole in the rig graph, it looks quite intimidating, but it, it really isn't. Once you realize that a lot of these nodes are doing very similar things, just different bones, it actually becomes very, very easy to read. This is the blend shape section. All it's doing is using the position of these controls to drive the facial blend shapes of my character. The root, pelvis, spine, head and neck is just directly set in the position of the root bone, the pelvis bone, the spine bones, and the neck bones. This next section is where the IK really starts to come into play. We have the clavicle, the forearm twist, directly set in bones, but the rest of the arm is actually driven through this IK chain. This basic IK node works by taking in the names of three bones and the transform of your control that you want to drive the chain with. It's worth noting that instead of a separate control, I've plugged in an offset from the main control into the pole vector. This gives me a little less control, but it saves me a lot of time. The fingers each have their own IK chain, driven by a control that is parented to this master finger control. I've structured the hand controls in such a way that you can animate the hand as a whole, but also very easily change the pose of the hand. So you can change the walking on its knuckles or raising up off the ground. The next section we have is the legs. This entire back leg is just driven through this one control and an IK solver. Yeah, it's uh, not too hard to make it do some weird looking stuff, but it's also not too hard to work around that. And lastly, we have these little pincers here, which again is driven through one IK. Uh, if I did this again, I might add in a different setup for this because they do get a bit weird when I push them forward and they, I did have to work around these particular ones a bit. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, using control rig, I was able to make a relatively straightforward rig that was really easy to animate and allowed me to get quite a bit of personality and creepiness out of this model.